My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, I'm on the hunt for the best steering box for my 2007 Chevy Silverado Classic. I've got a 2500 HD with the LBZ Duramax. And shortly after purchasing the truck, about a year in, uh, it started leaking. Uh, le leaving power steering fluid on the ground and looking at it, the input spi spline uh, is leaking from there. One of those seals in there must be going bad. Um, so looking on the internet and I found a lot of problems. Um, a lot of people are buying reman units from the dealership and having issues. A lot of people buying reman units from the auto parts store and having, having issues. I'm usually a, a Napa guy when it comes to quality parts, but nobody's really having good luck out there. So. Everybody started steering me towards on, on Facebook forums, uh, everywhere else online that I'm searching, st steering me towards uh, red head um, steering gear boxes. And then after digging in a little bit deeper, I started finding native information about those too. Um, sounds like they used to be good two, three years ago, and maybe not so much now. Next, I found the blue top. Uh, the red head and the blue top are very much on par with being the same cost. They're a little bit more expensive than the um, the reman units out there, but they seem to be pretty. They seem to be better from everyone's reviews, whatever that is. The PSC pump uh, steering gear box, uh, they are the best, but they're like six, seven, eight hundred dollars. It was crazy. So the the redhead started doing research in it, and they're starting to be negative reviews, especially as of recent, which is a little bit of a concern to me. Maybe their manufacturing process has changed and leading me down this problem. I looked on both Google reviews. Uh, Redhead and Blue Top, and Blue Top had better reviews, especially the recent reviews. And just looking online, I haven't really seen as many complaints with Blue Top, so I'm hoping I want the right choice on that one. Um, you know, all these companies say that they do all these different things, say they have warranties. Um, we're going to put it to the test. We'll find out. I use this truck for work, so uh, plowing is actually when I started having my issues with my truck. Started really having some issues steering. And I think that that puts some extra strain on my steering gearbox, which caused it to blow. So this next winter, going out plowing, have that extra weight of the plow in front. I'm sure we'll find out uh, if that's going to be a, a good pump or a good box or not. So uh, let's let's dig into the box here. We'll uh, take a look at it, show you what I found, show, show what I like, dislike, whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be installing this. I may have my mechanic do this. Uh, it just depends on if I have time for it or not. Um, but I wanted to share my experience with this box and why I bought it. So like I said, big reason I chose this box was better reviews. And also there's a lot of different options for um, purchasing. You can purchase it and have them ship you one and you can send your core back and it's more expensive up front, or you can kind of defer the core payment. Um, or what I ended up doing is I ended up purchasing uh, this particular steering box online on Facebook classifieds and had that the seller I, I paid them enough money to ship it to me, and they were about three hours away. So I had them ship it, instead of shipping it to me, I had them ship it directly to Blue Top and had them rebuild it, and then they, they sent it to me. So I, I saved a shipping step in there, uh, saved some costs, and now I'll have an extra box when I'm done, so I can send that up to them, and maybe they'll give me a core for it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe next time I have an issue, or, or heck, I could even sell it on. Uh, Facebook classifieds for someone else wanting to do the same. How much was it? I think it was only 125 So I think I purchased the steering gear box for $75. I paid $50 for shipping. So I think it was $125. Maybe it was $175. And then uh, I'll have to double check my invoicing details. I'll leave them up here. But I want to say it was in the two or $300 range to have it rebuilt. Uh, might have, I, I don't think it was quite $400. Um, but uh, pretty inexpensive on the rebuild because I already paid for the upfront cost of the steering gear box. Um, and I didn't have to pay for the core on the back end and wait for the core payment. So I think they're like more like five, 600 bucks if you go the other route and you get a core. Uh, anyways, I'll have to look at their website again and, and let you know. So yeah, let's dig into this. We'll see what we've got here and show you what it looks like. I already uh, tore into this. I was too excited to look at it. So they've got a uh, really nice blue top steering gears, a little tape on here on the side and, and they, stapled the crap out of it. I've got probably a dozen staples sitting here on my desk. 
Uh, they did a really good job stapling this. We got a staple, I think, four down the tape line and then on the corners as well. So they obviously know what they're doing. They're shipping a heavy product. Another thing that was interesting is use these uh, sealed air product care. Uh, so really kind of cool stuff. I, I didn't even know they existed, but it looks like it's like a liquid or something and they pop it and then they stick it in the box and it actually expands to fit. So I'll show you the bottom one here. Okay, so this is kind of heavy. Okay, so in the here, we've got that self-expanding stuff. So it, it's just formed to fit the box. I thought that was kind of kind of neat. So we open up this box and we've got some tags in here. I'll go ahead and, and show you these and read them to you uh, because I think this is really important if you're buying blue top or even if you're just replacing with any other unit. Uh, re, you know, th this information is probably good for you no matter what you're doing. So here's our installation notice. Um, you need to have it installed with the wheels straight and if you don't then you will experience looseness in the steering. So that's really important. You can pause and read that whole thing. Okay, here's their one through six blue top steering gears, flushing and bleeding instructions. So this will void your warranty. Dirty fluid will void the warranty. You can go ahead and pause this and take a look at this. Basically, they're just telling you how to flush it out. So that's very important. And that's something I was looking at doing. Okay, here's the backside. Uh, steps 7 through 12. I was looking at doing that. I, I'm, tr I'm having a hard time buying fluid. I actually purchased another thing of fluid and it, it's taken a long time on Amazon to get here. So I'm hoping my uh, mechanic has the ability to get um, you know, automotive parts better than I do. I, I prefer the AC Delco. In fact, I've got a bottle here. I prefer this AC Delco doing some research. That's what is recommended to be used in the system. I believe this is also in combination to working with the brakes which is another reason I kind of don't want to mess with it. I'd rather just pawn that off on somebody who wrenches on stuff day in and day out. Don't mind this exhaust stuff. That's for a different video. Okay, so right here we've got their little blue top sticker made in the USA. Of course, we're painted blue. Why wouldn't you want it blue? You know, blue, honestly, is more of a Chevy color. Um, they don't just do Chevy steering boxes, but AC Delco is blue. Um, that's not GM brand, I don't think, but it's a, uh, no, it is a GM brand. So yeah, um, blue, blue kind of goes with Chevy. That's kind of Chevy colors. Got the spline protectors on here, on the input shaft, on the pitman arm shaft. It's all painted up, it's black. I guarantee you the guy that pulled this off his truck um, didn't paint it, so. You know, it's been gone through, done over. We've got two little plugs here on the uh, for your lines. I'm, I'm really excited to see how this works out. I'm really excited to see if the truck works better. If they, you know what, screw it. Let's get this out of the package for you guys. There we go, nice and shiny. We've got a nylock nut on here on the end. Um, some sort of brass, I don't even know how these go together. Looks like a brass um, washer in there. Or, or gasket. Okay, this this didn't paint up very well. That's a mating surface there. Um, maybe that's how they they maybe hook it into their bench. But yeah, pretty pretty dang good coverage. I you know I wonder if they're using a paint gun and doing a whole bunch at the same time. You know I would think that this thing was covered in grease and oil. I mean I know mine is. So do they have to degrease it first? You know, what's that process? Be interesting to know how they rebuild these. But, um, should we pull off this cover? Okay, so we got the throw three, three shaft, the three spline. One, two, three. This guy is painted, marked in that straight position. So I'm sure this has been indexed, so it's in the midway point already. I'm sure that that's intentional. You know, this thing looks brand new. I know they didn't give me a new unit because I know that I sent them that one from uh, Facebook. So there you go. Looks looks new. Looks nice. Ready to go in the, the Chevy. The work truck. AC Doko. Look at this little commercial right here. Okay. Enough's enough. There's your video. Blue top steering gear box. Um, might do a separate video on the install, how it goes, and how everything performs afterwards. At least do a follow-up video and show you how it performs. And um, yeah, 
definitely check out Blue Top if you're in the need for a steering gear box. Sounds like these uh, heavy duty trucks tend to go out on unfortunately. But what do you do? I need my steering.